Welcome to the Coach's Vault. I'm Brian Brazil, and today we're going to go over the Apache drill. The Apache drill is going to start with uh, defenders right along the side of the crease and offensive players outside those defenders. You can put in any number you want to create an odd man situation, uh, all the way from a two on one uh, up to a six on five. You could also put in even numbers if you'd like, but I like this drill a little better um, with uneven numbers. Um, our first whistle is going to start our defenders jogging clockwise around the crease and our offensive players jogging counterclockwise right outside of them. Um, so we're going to be rotating in two opposite circles. Coach is in the corner of the box, although he could be anywhere he wants uh, realistically for this drill, and he's going to roll a ground ball to one of the four corners or top center of the uh, offensive zone. Second whistle is blown as soon as he rolls that GB, and our players get out and fight for the ground ball, and if offense gains possession, they get into... I, you know, I have a four on three set up here. We'll go over it a couple different ways. We'll probably do three on twos and four on threes out on the field. Um, but we get into our box and our defense gets into our triangle. Again, the three S's of transition for us being spacing, shape, and skips. You know, we're in, we're in good spacing, tight for defense, spread for offense. Our shape is a box for offense and a triangle for defense. And our skips is we're looking to expose defensemen and, and take advantage of a skip lane. And defensively, we're looking to close those skip lanes against our offensive players. And we're going to play this out until there's a goal or a turnover. Um, then a whole new group of players is going to come in. Same thing. Back to the crease. Run our rotations. New ground ball. And we get right back into it. If a defender ever wins the GB, uh, which will happen quite frequently, We've got uh, now an extra offensive player, but our goalie can join in, and we're going to try and clear the ball in a four-on-four -four situation back to the coach before offense can turn the ball over. If offense does turn the ball over, you can push it right back at the cage or blow it dead, whatever you prefer as a coach. Um, but it's a nice drill to get the guys focusing on GBs and then going from a hectic situation where you may have, let's say, two offensive players, and a defensive player going for a ground ball, everybody else kind of in, and now all of a sudden you're scrambling. This guy's got to stop ball, force a movement, get into your shape and uh, structure of transition as quickly as you can to try and gain an advantage. We'll go over it on the field live. Okay, so we're going to go over the Apache drill. So I don't think you guys have done this drill before, maybe some of you. We're going to start with a defenseman right inside on the crease, pretty much touching the crease. And you're going to run counterclockwise, Mikey, so that's this way around the crease. And you two are going to run counterclockwise, just jog on the first whistle. On the second whistle, I'm going to roll out a ground ball, and it's a live two-on-one. Here you go. And we're just going to push the uneven situation. We'll start with a simple two-on-one, then we'll start adding players. Get jogging. Two-on-one, two-on-one. Good. Next group. Yay. All right, so we just added a second defender and a third offensive guy. We're going to ramp this up to a three on two. You can really do it with any number of players. Defense, if you can make a play at the GB, you go for it. Oh. Nice handle, and that, of course, is the danger of going for the GB if you don't get it. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we're back to unevens. We got four offensive guys, three defensive guys. New group. Good. All right, let's get five white inside, four green inside. Good fight both ways. Okay, that's Apache, and thank you for watching the Coach's Vault.